miles per hour about 1600 can. That's fantastic. And it's doing well. Well, now it's going to do better. Look at all these people. No doubt. But since, with me, you're not under siege. We no kept doubt. it perfect. Since, since you've we left, by the Biden administration, it's been terrible for the well, industry. Well, they're doing it with ammunition. Ammunition, the pistol brace issue. But when you're back in, we need a little help on that. So. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard O'Jet here. And Donald Trump picked up a pistol in a South Carolina gun store, and it's a good thing that it was unloaded. Donald Trump and Marge the Trainwreck Green took a trip to the Palmetto State Armory together before a campaign rally. It was a staged event intended to throw shade on the Biden administration over pistol brace bans. When you asked which was the highest quality gun, sir, it's this one. <laughs> That's a Glock. Uh, Glock, Glock actually did that. And uh, these, these are actually great sellers for us. We sell them. With the picture? We do. It comes exactly like this from Glock. Wow. And they sell well. They, sell they like well. me. The spokesman for the shop brought up how easy it was under the Trump administration to purchase ammo and pistol braces and complained about the Biden administration taking away a big money maker. The pistol brace is an accessory that stabilizes the recoil. It is typically used to convert a pistol into a short barrel rifle. Pistol braces were used in deadly shootings not only at the grocery store in Colorado, but in the deadly school shooting in Uvalde. Back in the days of Al Capone, Congress said that short barrel rifles and sawed-off shotguns should be regulated more stringently. This was aimed at gangsters who could conceal the weapons easily. The pistol brace converts a pistol to a shoulder fire weapon. It's an accessory that is meant to bypass public, public safety protections for rifles. The National Firearms Act has put requirements on short barrel rifles since the 1930s. Gun owners are not being singled out. The jackaloon at the store tried to say that the Biden administration rule made 40 million gun owners into felons overnight, but that's absolutely false. It is simply not accurate. The rule makes manufacturers, dealers, and individuals comply with the laws that regulate rifles. If you're going to turn your pistol into a rifle, you should have to follow the NFA regulations for rifles. Nobody's Second Amendment right are being trampled. This outing was all for show. And right now we're fighting in the court, the Fifth Circuit, the yeah. Eighth Circuit. We'll take care of it. It's ridiculous. Okay. I have one. You have one? Yeah, and Marjorie my mom Taylor has one. And it helps her, she's able right. to hold it. So it's good. Marge the train wreck green tagged along and even interjected that she owned a pistol brace attachment. When Trump heard her annoying nasally voice, he turned his head and glared at her. He wanted to be clear that he was the star of the show and wouldn't tolerate having the spotlight or anyone else other than him. Donald Trump shouldn't have even been allowed in the gun shop with his criminal charges that he's facing. Yet they allowed him in and they even let him hold a gun and take pictures with it. Thank goodness they made sure that it was unloaded because he held it wrong. It was reported by a Trump campaign aide, Stephen Chung, that Donald had bought a Glock in South Carolina but then deleted the tweet soon after, prompting questions. Mainly, the question was how the hell can a guy who's under multiple felony indictments purchase a gun? The Trump campaign aide seemed to realize his screw-up and he later clarified that Donald Trump did not buy a gun. No kidding, he can't even pass a background check. Shame on all those involved in this charade. It was pure misrepresentation of facts and a despicable display of greed. Donald Trump is a criminal and the parents of this country are sick and tired of sacrificing their second graders for these lunatics' version of the Second Amendment. Stop lying to everyone to make a profit. Stop blaming mental health as a cause for bloodshed. It's your greed and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.